Good afternoon traders, welcome to Trade Setup and the afternoon wrap for the 3rd of October. Okay, we've um, had a good day today, we obviously opened lower and pushed our way up during the day. Uh, we're going to take a look at the price section for the day and just look at the daily charts as well on the ASX 200. Uh, we're also going to have a look at the Aussie dollar and we'll take a look at the um, US S&P. Okay, looking at the daily chart in the ASX 200, uh, price is holding that uh, daily uptrend there. We've made the higher lows, another higher low, and again there at 51.55. Uh, did bounce quite sharply off that. We're expecting a bit of resistance around 54.33, which we did get, uh, but only really a minor pullback, and then we just worked our way higher again. Um, we are looking at the moment, looking up to potentially go to 56.05, so that's sort of the key level that's under target at the moment. Uh, price. In saying that price is really in overbought territory there, so we could do something like this, just keep going hovering around overbought. It doesn't mean too much, but it just means to be wary that uh, price could easily uh, roll over from there. So really, we're just going to take a look at this, see if um, we can get up to that 56.05 level. Okay, breaking it down now to the 30-minute chart in the current price section. Uh, we've had a, a move higher for off that uh, 53.80 zone uh, to those highs around this zone, around the 54.82. Uh, and then we've actually had that contraction, that pullback lower to 54.20 where we built that base. I had a minor retest, a sort of high low here, and then we've been working our way up since. We have hit 5,500. Uh, so the current current zones where we're really find important is that high is at 5,500. And obviously that 57 zone there, uh, which is holding up that current trend. So price action at the moment looks like it is contracting. Uh, we're making very minor lower highs and lower lows, uh, but we eventually expect that to have failed lows and you know a higher low just to work another leg so minor legs something like this this move up here another one moving us up to a potentially a target initially at 55 20 to 25 zone um, from there we maybe get another bigger you know, contraction and then that push up towards this uh, daily level around the 5600 we'll have to see how all that plays out remembering that daily is in overbought territory Looking at the daily chart here, uh, we pulled back off that move up to 78.16. We had that big washout down below to 71.76, and then we've been working our way higher with minor, oh, sorry, on the daily chart, we've had higher lows and higher highs. Uh, we touched up at this region here around the 77.50, did pull back, and then we're back up towards this resistance line. Uh, we made up to about 77.14. So what we're gonna do is take a look at this shaded zone here on the lower time frame chart. Uh, but you can see that that price action is still holding trend higher and the key level on the daily charts is 74 say 50 area but we'll just take a look at the one hour chart now okay breaking it down so we really have to see 7604 hold and we did get that washout uh, but pretty much that was straight after washout of 7700 so did push our way out wash out that 76 77 highs then pretty much fell over then we washed out the lows at 76.04 so really we could be just range bound between those two levels or what we're seeing at the moment what looks sort of more likely we've had that push up to 76.71 and then contracting slower with minor lower highs and minor lower lows so whether we continue and build a bit of a higher low somewhere around 76.40 or 30 zone uh, which could take us back up through 76.71 and on through 7700 but we'll have to see how that, all that plays out with the US dollar Okay, looking at the US S&P 500, the four hour chart there, uh, going from the left, we saw that contraction and we did break down out of that contraction, uh, pushed all the way down to 2110 or 2109, did bounce uh, since then, and we have made those higher lows, uh, held trend and just built our way back up towards 2179, so sort of back into the mid range of that, uh, that consolidation zone there, uh, below 2192. Now, if we are, we have an interesting spot at the moment. If we do hold that 2142, we would expect potentially a minor higher low to build somewhere around this region, 2160, which could take us back up through 2173 through 2179 and back up towards that 2192, potentially up into new highs again. Uh, but at the moment, if we fail to get through this 2173, even 2179, that's hold. That holds and that creates major resistance levels. Then I would expect us to roll over and push straight back down below 2142. Obviously, it's a longer term, uh, but we'll see how that goes. We are banging around an overbought territory now, so uh, we'll see what the US brings us tonight. Anyway, that's it, for, and we'll speak to you tomorrow. And don't forget, traders, you can go to our YouTube channel to subscribe. Uh, just go to www.youtube.com forward slash c forward slash trade setup. AU and you can view all the uploaded videos we've taken so far.